Professor Paul Springer from the U.S. Air Command and Staff College was authorized by his employers to discuss military plans to respond to an alien invasion. Springer responded to questions by an Australian television program exploring possible responses to an alien invasion that aired on Easter Sunday. In the segment titled U.S. Military Making Plans for an Alien Invasion, he discussed the implications of humanity being confronted by an extraterrestrial threat. Springer's comments echoed the sentiments by Professor Stephen Hawking in April 2010 that advanced extraterrestrial life is likely to be predatory, and humanity needs to be prepared for contact with hostile off-world visitors. Furthermore, Springer's comments reveal that a 2006 book titled An Introduction to Planetary Defense, a study of modern warfare applied to extraterrestrial invasion, written by a number of defense contractors, may in fact contain many aspects of the Pentagon's classified plan. Most importantly, Springer's comments confirm for the first time that the Pentagon has drawn up contingency plans for an extraterrestrial invasion. In the Alien Invasion TV segment, Springer was asked, what do you think would be the alien plan? What would they do first? He responded, that really depends on why they are here in the first place. If they are here for the extraction of a specific resource, for example, they might just want to eliminate any rim from their objective. If, on the other hand, their goal was actual occupation and conquest, then they would probably have to prioritize anything they perceive as a threat to their own dominance. So, they would probably start by wiping out as many communications networks as possible and eliminating as many weapons that might represent some form of threat either to them or to the resources they are trying to extract. So they might very well want to counter every nuclear weapon, not because it represented a threat to them, but because it might destroy whatever they're here to collect. Significantly, Springer addresses how the Pentagon would view extraterrestrial interference with nuclear weapons. Aliens would interfere with nuclear weapons not because they are dangerous to life here or elsewhere, but because nuclear weapons are a threat to what the aliens wish to collect from Earth. It has been well documented that for 60 years or more, UFOs have been monitoring nuclear weapons facilities, and in some situations have actively interfered with nuclear weapons. Many UFO researchers have interpreted this as a sign that extraterrestrials were trying to warn humanity of the global threat posed by nuclear weapons. Indeed, numerous individuals claiming to have been contacted or abducted by extraterrestrials since the early 1950s have made a similar point. Springer's comments reveal the contrasting conclusion drawn by the Pentagon in their planning scenario. Significantly, this echoes the same sentiment drawn by former President Ronald Reagan at a famous speech at the UN General Assembly in September 1987, not so fast according to reporters. They believe that the alien invasion scenario described by Springer would in fact be a false flag operation using very earthly advanced technologies to simulate an alien invasion. The goal would be to justify the creation of a one-world government where more and more civil liberties would be lost, especially for U.S. citizens. A false flag alien invasion scenario was first revealed by Dr. Werner von Braun, a founder of the U.S. Apollo space program, to Carol Rosen shortly before the former's death in 1977. This gives credence to a possible agenda behind the Pentagon leaking an alien invasion plan. The threat would be contrived extraterrestrials aren't real at all. What, however, would be the case if Reagan's warning was authentic, and extraterrestrials are already here? In such a scenario, and greater global governance would be essential in dealing with advanced extraterrestrial life and technology. 